I don't know about $40. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is just a really low key day. I wasn't planning on filming anything, but this is something that I have been wanting to try for a while. It is the Zilla Micro Habitat, and this is the large version. So I actually reviewed the small one, I guess this is the small, and I did the Arboreal, which has my Carabina Versicolor in it. And then I also tried the Terrestrial one, which has my Toledo Coddle Shidori in it. Now I'm not gonna really get into detail about these because I already made a whole video putting them together and giving my thoughts but I will say overall they have held up pretty well I do have to say I don't like the terrestrial one as much as I like the arboreal one what I really like about this and I did mention this in the video was this front opening door right here and I just think that's like so easy to access to feed it film it you know pretty easy and then it has this little lock that you turn. A question that I did have about the large ones though is how sturdy they are in comparison because this one it seems to have a lot more rubber bands and stuff. So I just hit myself in the head. <laughs> I didn't get the terrestrial one because I only saw this one on the shelf. My local pet store gets them in occasionally, so I don't know, maybe we'll try the bigger terrestrial one eventually, but $39.99 I paid for this, so $40. That's more than an Exoterra, the um the mini one. I, I, oh, I can't even remember the sizing. This one that I have my uh, jumping spider in. So yeah, and this is acrylic and you have to put it together yourself. That value alone is just kind of like questionable, but I did ask you guys on Instagram if you wanted me to try it and you said, yeah, and I will do it. But yeah, before we get into building this, I actually picked up all of this from my PO box. There's like some letters and cards and I thought I would open those really quick. So yeah, let's see, this one is from Gretchen. So Gretchen is actually a patron of mine. Really pretty shiny card. Merry Christmas and happy new year. Thank you for all the content you create, YouTube, Patreon, and your podcast, as well as the little gifts you have sent through this year. You make spiders seem so much less scary. Thank you so much, Gretchen, and thank you so much for all your support. Um, not sure about this one. <sighs> Hi Kat, on some video, can you show this note, please? This is my tarantula. <sighs> That's so cool. Let's see, it has red knees. So I'm gonna guess you have a Brachypilma Hamori. <laughs> so cute, thank you so much. This one comes all the way from Arizona and it has a little unicorn, Pegasus. Pegasus, God. Hey Kat, happy super late birthday. I hope you had a great birthday. This has a lot of questions, so I will probably just go ahead and write you back, but thank you so much. This is the best sticker that I have ever got. Thank you. It's a tomato frog, just like magic frog, right? Okay, so that was a no. Oh my god, is this a snake with bubble tea? Oh, and a little piece of theria metallica, a crested gecko. These are so cute. Is this your tarantula? Oh my gosh, I have so many questions. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for all of this. I really appreciate it. Oh, where did, did this come from? Poland. Oh my gosh, look at this. Check all these out. Finley's Corner. Okay, cool. So they have a betta fish account. I will totally follow you. Thank you so much, Alexandra. I really hope that you get some jumping spiders you really should okay we have one more to open really quick this is from danny at keeper cards <laughs> got my christmas dinner dear cat and family hope you have a wonderful christmas and a happy new year love from keeper cards oh thank you so much danny and that is so cute it's always so nice to hear from you guys it makes me so happy so now let's just go ahead and get into this and see if i'm capable of redeeming myself and actually building this one right the first time all right have the bottom, a uh, full baggie of rubber bands, the instructions, <laughs> the bunch of pieces. I think I might be able to put this together easier this time since I did the little ones, but it's been a while, so I don't know. So this is what we're supposed to do. It's um, pretty self-explanatory, but again, it's like they fit like a million steps and only six steps so we'll use that as a reference okay yeah we got to peel this stuff off all right we have some asmr coming Alright, I'm gonna leave this front part with the insert locks 
this side, I'm gonna leave this front part on for now just so it's easier for me to remember which side goes that way. All right, so now we just gotta like build it, I guess, okay. So this is the locking door, I believe. So I think this is gonna go like in the front and then this little piece goes, no. What am I doing? This is the back, okay, I see, I see, right? No. Front, this is the door, this is the door. Come on, cat. Oh, this is the top. Okay, this is the top. That's making sense. Cause it goes like this. Goes like this, okay. Top, this is one of the sides. So, okay, yeah. This is a side, right? Jesus. <laughs> These have to go in the front because that's like where the door goes. I remember that from last time. Okay. And then this is the back, right? I'll show you guys a little bit more up close once I just um, figure this out a little bit. Oh no! Did I break something? No, I didn't. So put the back on. I, I'm going to say put the back on and then the sides. Okay. There's the back, and then now we will try with the sides. And then you just gotta make sure you put the rubber bands on all the little nubbies that are sticking out over here. Actually easy to miss a few, so make sure you double check. All right, we're getting somewhere. See, look, it's starting to look like an enclosure. Take this piece off now. Now we just have like a lot of rubber bands to put on. Okay, so this little piece is the front, which is gonna go right here, I believe. Yeah. Come on. Just like this piece seems so unnecessary. It might just be a stability thing. All right, so how do we put this door on again? Oh yeah, so there's these little holes. And we will just... Great, wow. I think I've gotten better at this, but wait a sec. Okay, this one's different from the little one. These sides, these thingies, which uh, you would think you would put like a rubber band on it, but you don't, because then how would you open it? You don't know what I'm saying? So, this one doesn't seem, well, all right, all right, it's not bad. It's just got that extra little thing there, because this one doesn't have those like extra ones. It's that extra support, I guess, so that it doesn't just like pop open or anything. This is the little lock. So this goes right, okay. Yeah, all right, cool. I like it. I, I really do like it. $40 though. I don't know about $40. I don't know if it's worth $40, but I would probably pay $40 for it. I mean, considering I already did. I really, I would, I would. I do like it. It doesn't have the screen. I know a lot of people are against the mesh lids on Exoterras. It's lighter than a glass terrarium. And I think that this is better suited for an arboreal tarantula than the Exoterra. We can compare it size-wise. So size-wise, it's about twice as tall as the small one. Again, I really do like this one. I do think that this one's worth the money for the door alone. I think we'll be rehousing my Caribbean Versi color into this one once it molts another time or two. But anyway, we can go ahead and sit it side by side with an Exoterra. All right, we can compare it with the Exoterra. And then right here is the Tarantula Cribs Arboreal. So what do you guys think? I don't know. Now I do have to say I am a little biased and I do <laughs> favor this. This is my favorite. Full disclosure, uh, I have an affiliate code with Tarantula Cribs. It's CAT10, you get 10% off. Um, but no, I'm, I'm not saying that just because, you know, I work with them. I really do prefer this because this is much more sturdy than that. It's thicker. The acrylic is really clear. I really like the magnets. Now I do have to say my favorite feature about an Exoterra, first of all, they're easy to find in pet stores. They're always there. Second of all, you have not one, but two ways to access inside the enclosure. And it's pretty secure, it locks. But I do have to admit that Again, I like this front opening door, how it goes down like this. So I mean, really, this is going to boil down to your preferences and what you like. I do like how tall this one is. I do like this front opening door. 
I do not like the rubber bands. I do not like how unsturdy it still feels to me. Like compared to these two, it just seems more unsturdy. I'm not saying that it's not sturdy enough to hold a tarantula. I definitely believe it, it is, but I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I would put a piece of theory in here just for, I just, I don't think I would. <laughs> Because it just worries me with these rubber bands, you know, if they stretch out or anything. We will go ahead and rehouse my Carabina Versicolor into this once it molts in a few, probably like another molt or two, I think would be good. I mean, I could really do it now, but I'll probably just wait for another molt just because I'm sure there will be another molt soon. It molts quite a bit. But yeah, okay, we did it. We did it. Let me know if you guys want me to try out the terrestrial large one because I really wouldn't mind it. Um, Again, I, I, I'm I not the biggest fan of this terrestrial one. It's just um the, the lid, it's it just, whenever you open it, slide it open. I have a very bolty tarantula in here. As soon as you slide it open to open, you see it has that opening right down there. And then it goes like that. It just scares the tarantula so bad every time. So I, I don't recommend this if you have like something a little bit more bolty. I just don't. I just don't like the lid. But I would be willing to try the terrestrial. Um, Four extra rubber bandies too. So I mean, if you do have a rubber band that breaks, they do provide extra. But yeah, that is it. That is the Zilla Micro Habitat Large. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? It doesn't really matter what I think. What do you think? Let me know. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not. And you watch me. Don't forget to miss your videos. Probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And let's get into the Patreon pet picks.